Located in Laporte, Texas, there is a floating museum that sits in an old converted U.S. battleship. This battleship served in both of the World Wars, is featured as a map in Call of Duty World War II, and today remains the last of its kind. The battleship in question? The USS Texas. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Real History Of. This is an episodic web series where I take a look at the events and figures that inspired the settings of our favorite video games. I'm your host Christopher, the video game historian, and on this week's episode, I'm going to take a look at the real history of the USS Texas. Commissioned by the US Navy in March of 1914, the USS Texas was built at the Newport News Shipbuilding Company in Newport News, Virginia, and launched in May of 1912. It was a New York class battleship and weighed 27,000 tons. It had an overall length of 573 feet with a beam of 95.3 feet and could reach speeds of 21 knots. When it was built, it had 14 coal-fired boilers powering two propellers along with 10 14-inch 45 caliber guns as its main battery with a secondary battery of 21 5-inch 51 caliber guns and finally four 21-inch torpedo tubes. As time went on, the Texas would continue to be equipped with the latest technology and weapons, and throughout its lifetime, it held a crew of 1,042 men. It served in both world wars and is the only U.S. ship today that has done so. In 1916, it became the first U.S. ship to have anti-air guns mounted on it, and during the war in 1918, after the U.S. had officially entered, it joined the British Grand Fleet's 6th Battle Squadron. Throughout the Great War, the USS Texas helped with laying minefields in the North Sea, responded to the movements of the German Hochseeflöte, and prevented Allied supply lines from being cut off. During the interwar years, the battleship would continue to serve the US Navy. Rather than being scrapped, the USS Texas was modernized. Its fuel source was converted from coal to oil, and it received one of the first radar dishes installed for the US Navy in 1939. It would also become the flagship for the US Atlantic Fleet. In December of 1941, when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, sending the United States into the war officially, the USS Texas managed to escape the disaster as it was up in Maine at the time of the bombing. This was the second time that year that the Texas escaped harm. The first was earlier in 1941 when a German U-boat almost fired upon them, but was told not to by Hitler. Shortly after Pearl Harbor, the ship's secondary battery was reduced to make way for more anti-air guns to be installed. Throughout the war itself, the battleship would take on various roles in helping the Allies to victory. Up until the fall of 1942, the ship would serve as a convoy escort before being reassigned to help with Operation Torch in November of that same year. During Torch, the Texas provided constant fire support for the Allies off of the coast of Morocco. It would be reassigned once again to be a convoy escort until April 1944 when it would go under preparations for the upcoming Operation Overlord. On D-Day, the battleship helped the Allied landing on Normandy by shelling German defenses on Omaha Beach and Point du Hoc. The only casualties that the USS Texas ever sustained was on June 25, 1944. With the assistance of the USS Nevada and USS Arkansas, the Texas attacked German positions around Cherbourg, France. It was during this attack that the Texas was hit twice with German artillery shells. The first shell exploded and killed 12 men aboard the ship, while the second bomb didn't detonate. Once it was deactivated, it was returned to the ship, where it served as a good luck charm. In August 1944, the Texas went back out to the seas, assisting the Allies once again in southern France during the Operation Dragoon landings. This would be its last mission in Europe, as shortly afterwards, the battleship would be reassigned to the Pacific Theater for the remainder of the war. In February 1945, it assisted with anti-air and gunfire support at Iwo Jima, and in March, helped at the Battle of Okinawa by attacking the island a week before U.S. forces were set to land, in an effort to soften up the Japanese defenses. In 1948, after the war, the USS Texas will be decommissioned, and today serves as a floating museum and is recognized as a National Historic Landmark. If you'd like to visit the museum, 
and see what kind of programs they offer, you can check out their website at battleshiptexas.org. That's all for this week's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and if so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Wiz, Facebook, and Twitter, and until next time, I'll see you at the Call of Duty. Enemy care package! Stop their resupply!